Hello and welcome to St John's Virtual. This morning I have a few words for you. Um, I have a prayer, a top tip and an invitation. So well done to everyone who has remembered that the hour goes forward today. And if you're still living an hour behind everyone else, welcome to you too. You haven't missed anything. Just reflecting on the hour going forward in the current circumstances, when so many of us are self-isolating or shielding at home, probably missing our regular contacts with family and friends and our regular Sunday service in the wonderful building that we call St John's. We often talk about losing an hour at this time of year and perhaps as the days and the weeks go by we'll be tempted to think of our time now as lost or wasted. But it doesn't have to be like that. We worship the God who is Father Eternal, Lord of all time and all eternity. Stephen spoke to us last week about our Paschal candle, the candle which stands still stands in our church as a reminder of God's presence here with us through thick and through thin, in joy and in sadness, bringing life and light to the saddest, the loneliest, the darkest of our human experiences. And the Paschal candle was blessed for us to use at last Easter's Holy Saturday service with the words, Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages, to him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. And that's still true in these days when the activities we, look for, we took for granted to fill our time are curtailed or looking very different. When perhaps time seems to pass in a very different way or more slowly, when we've lost those natural balance points in our week and perhaps struggle even to remember what day of the week it is. At those times we can remember that we don't need to fill our day with relentless activity, that Christ is yesterday, today and forever. That instead of being a time simply to get to be got through, this could be a real opportunity to pause to be still in the presence of Christ, the beginning and the end, the one in whom we live and move and have our being. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. So a friend sent me a poem that I would like to share with you today, and it's called Pandemic by Lynn Ungar. What if you thought of it as the Jews consider the Sabbath, the most, most sacred of times? Cease from travel, cease from buying and selling, give up just for now on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those to whom you commit your life, center down, and when your body has become still, Reach out with your heart. Know that we are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's hands. Surely that's become clear. Do not reach out your hands. Reach out your heart. Reach out your words. Reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we all shall live. And a prayer. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious, be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And you might like to join me in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So I promised you a top tip. I don't know about you, but my hands are getting very dry and quite um, uh, unpleasant with all this hand washing and hand sanitizer. So if you try taking a little bit of sugar, just perhaps a teaspoonful, uh, mix it with a little bit of olive oil and then rub that on your hands before you moisturise, it does actually make a real difference. So um, do try that. And I have some news for you. As some of you may have already heard, our move to Portsmouth has been postponed. And I'm very grateful to Bishops Christopher, that's um, Bishop Christopher of Southwark and Bishop Christopher of Portsmouth, and to Bishop Jonathan for allowing me to remain in post here for a few weeks longer so I can continue to support the people of Selston and Andy at the hospital chaplaincy during the worst of this crisis. And finally, um, an invitation to you. Uh, we do enjoy our coffee time at St John's and I know that many of you are missing that so I would invite you um, to make yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea now um, and sit down with it and perhaps a biscuit too if you feel you need treating knowing that you and your friends are doing the same thing. Perhaps you might like to pick up the phone um, to a friend and share your coffee together virtually and maybe have a chat about what you thought about today's video. Um, we'd love to know what you think and maybe ideas of what you'd like to see going forward. Do explore the rest of the website, there's some really good stuff on there and um, any feedback, it would be wonderful if you could send that in to Amanda. Thank you very much. So finally, just before you go and put the kettle on, I'm going to ask for God's blessing for all of us. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. Amen.